Hello noble ones, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking. Um, today I would like to talk about and make a little commentary on a video. In, according to this video, the katana is superior to the longsword. Now, as you can already tell by the, the, the tone of my voice, just uh, I needed to make a commentary on this. So just uh, lay back, get comfortable, you're going to love this. The Japanese katana is a two-hand... Okay, first thing that we have here, the, the hands are actually placed wrongly because the left hand goes down at the bottom of the katana and the right hand goes up. The Japanese actually say that a Japanese warrior is the pinky of his left hand because that's where you have, and that's where you control the movement of your blade. So that's the first thing. Let's continue. Handed weapon with a single edge blade and a stabbing point. Yeah! And martial arts expert Bob Goodwin is here to tell me... Bob, yes. Let's talk about Bob for a second. I don't know much about him and for what he says in the video, it seems like he knows what he's talking about. But uh, um, I, I just like calling him Bob the Decoration Man. And you'll see why in a couple of minutes. Let's continue. ...how the samurai used this blade in combat. What we have is a cutting weapon. One cut, one kill. Yes, that's called Bushido Blade. Thank you. Good game because it's not about standing there bashing swords together it's about developing the footwork to where you can come around to an angle and avoid something coming in while cutting at the same time wouldn't go down too well today now excuse me for a second but we have a, you have invited a bob who is a martial art expert uh, expert of katana and i suppose other, other weapons i don't know and you are doing the cutting Excuse me, but shouldn't he do the cutting? Why are you doing the cutting without knowing any, anything about the techniques and how to actually grip the sword? Hey. Now, hacking at cabbages and coconuts is kind of fun. That was a pure slice. Okay, see here? See when he's doing the cut, he's cutting the coconut? That's the only time you'll actually see him use the sword throughout the entire video. The decoration man. He's just a decoration. He's there because, you know, it's nice. But how about something with a bit more substance, like a solid block of ice? Oh my goodness. Poor sword. My, my, my. Just like splitting logs with an axe. That's because you are using it like an axe, actually. That is, there is no form in the way you use the katana. It's, oh my goodness, Let, let's continue. Why did they thrust the swords in the logs? That's going to alter the whole test, because when you do that, you're actually going to damage the tips of the swords. And again, Bob is a decoration and he slices. But these double edges created plenty of slashing mayhem as well. Properly sliced and diced. Okay, we know what we're gonna have for lunch. There's some juice left in there. All we need is some ice. Okay, the katana sliced through the ice pretty nice. Now the long sword. Give the sword to Bob. Slashing the ice with the long sword is like hitting a brick. Oh please, I just I I can't I can't do it. I cannot do it. I cannot be diplomatic here. So uh, the, it, apart from the fact that the technique was completely wrong, it didn't even raise it properly and everything. But also w that when you cut in Hema, you should have the, for example, if you're cutting right-handed, you should have your right leg in front. And if you're cutting left-handed, you should, you should have your lef left leg in front. So you, you need an expert to perform this cut. But he's also using the strong of the sword, which is not the best place to cut. Absolutely, it's actually the worst place you could use to cut. If you really want to cut, you need to use the weak, which is the part which normally, according to quite a few manuals, will be the sharpest. Heck, I only managed to shave it a little. Of course you did. You don't even know how to grip the weapon, never mind use it. Totally different animal, that Ooh. one. The katana definitely has the edge as an icebreaker. But nobody goes to war against ice cubes. 
What about the kind of leather armor worn by your average foot soldier? Excuse me, your av leather armor worn by the average soldier? Of what? In what planet? What are you talking about? I mean, when I made my video about leather armor, and I, I don't consider myself an expert, but but again, it was difficult to to gather enough information, uh, enough data on the concept of leather armor because we you can't say that it was worn by the average foot soldier. There is no historical proof of that. I'm really curious to see this average soldier leather armor. We saw how leather armor stood up to Roman gladius and iron sword. Ra, I see. Sleeveless jerkings. Why was I even expecting something different than that? One millimeter thick leather jerkin. Well now, it's time for the heavyweight division. Long sword against katana. Please excuse me for a second, but these swords that you talk about, who made them? What steel have they used? What, we need some information here. We broke some serious ribs in there, buddy. Uh, excuse me, you've got ribs on your belly. You have got ribs on your belly. Now, that is an interesting... Oh my goodness, this is this is too good. This man is making my day. He's got ribs on in his belly. Fantastic. Okay. Well, let's try the katana. Let's see what it does. Oh, please. That, stop, stop, stop. Now, first of all, why did he change the cut? Now, cutting from, from an, the upper position gives it also the advantage of the weight of the sword. It's physics. So, and apart from, so you did give an advantage to this katana. So if you change the cuts, it changes completely the level of damage and efficacy of the blade. We're talking about blade alignment. It's going to be completely different. So this nullifies completely the test again. With its diagonal slash called the dogery. Yes, um, dogiri actually, not dogery. But sorry for that. I, I know, I know. I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that. I'm starting to become polemic. I'm sorry. I am. I'm really sorry. But this dogiri, the diagonal slash, you also have it in longsword in hima. Which the way it puts it, it's like it's like in a video game. If you push a square button with a katana, you get the diagonal cut. But if you push square button with a longsword, you only get the other less effective cut. So what can you do? The katana outclasses the longsword in the leather armor round. Well, there's no question about it. He just lost his arm, his heart, some of his intestines left. What? Oh my goodness. He, did he just say intestine? <laughs> I'm sorry, lads, but this is too good to be true. I mean, have you, you've got. You've got ribs, a rib cage all the way down to your belly, and now you've got intestines on your left shoulder. <laughs> this is my therapy. This is my therapy. But that, that did take a big nice hack out of that one. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Sheet metal, or maybe... But what is that? Now, I'll tell you what it is, since they don't tell us anything about this plate, Curas here. Um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what it is. This is a sorry excuse of an armor. That's what it is. That's the technical term. A sorry excuse of an armor wrapped around a jerking again. Because jerkins, you know, jerkins definitely used all the time. So, which is the better can opener? This is ridiculous. Do I even have to say that this is ridiculous? Nobody tried to do that in real Middle Ages. Not a real classy can opener. It did do some damage. It did what it's supposed to do. 
Uh, no, sorry, Bob, the decoration coconut opener. I have to disagree with you there. The long sword was not supposed to stab knights in the breastplate because the breastplate, it's in the, the middle of the breastplate would actually be the thickest part of the armor. So it just wouldn't, what nobody would try to do that. It de just doesn't make sense if it was real armor. Of course, this is costume armor, so... You know, actually, when he says can open armor, I'm starting to question whether they actually did use a few cans to make this. The long sword packed a punch and made a small hole. But, other than that, not much impact on the armor. Let's get around the other side and try the uh, samurai sword. Yes, sir. We got a lot more penetration. Yes, sir, we did. No, sir, we, we didn't. we want a good half inch in. Okay. Yes, sir, So we there we have it. This samurai sword beats out the long sword again. But you went a half inch in. Now, again, do that with a proper Italian breastplate together with the placard, which gives you two layers of very thick metal there but even if you did manage which is impossible to go through that you would have to deal with male armor and then gambeson which you do not have wrapped around your sorry little mannequin side by side you can see the shorter steel blade of the katana doesn't flex as much as the long sword and penetrates deeper through the armor. But when he says that, it really get I, I really get my blood into my, my brain when he says that, that this, the katana beat the longsword. No, it did not, because we never had longswords here in this show. We never had armors. We never had the expert actually use the weapon. So this is, this is as much information you could gather on this topic as you would playing Final Fantasy. And it's a slashing weapon, the katana is a work of art. In my book, the katana beats the longsword. Of course you did it wrong. The longsword, you need to half sword. Now try half swording with that longsword and, and you would have probably got a lot more penetration than the katana. Then try half swording with a curved katana. So you need to half sword and half swording one of the positive things of our sorting is not only that you would get a lot more penetration and power, but also that you would not flex as much, that you would actually hold it to closer to the tip, so that would create, basically, a stiffer blade. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was, it was a good laugh, I have to say. I loved it. So if you, if you also like this video, please thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and remember, the Metatron has spread his wings.